What's up, everybody? Hold on a second. There we go. Turning on the lights. What's up, everybody? 19 reasons why Walmart sucks. Um, yeah. Little history about myself with Walmart. I used to work at a Walmart. This was uh, back in the early 2000s. The one in Linden, New Jersey. That big one that, that, that had just opened up. The new one. I worked there for only two weeks before I fucking finally had enough and quit on the asses. I cursed out some employee and walked the fuck out. Long story short, I worked in the. They put me to work in the furniture department, where all the shelves are, the the wooden desks for your room and living room and shit like that. It was me, a black guy, and two Spanish dudes in the furniture department. All right. Now, the black guy was cool, real chill guy. Minded his own business, did his work, they didn't bother anybody. Now, two Spanish dudes, uh, these guys were always sucking each other's dicks. Now, I don't mean literally, but they were basically always around each other, kissing each other's asses, whatever. One time, I was in a bad mood. I'm talking about a real bad mood. Every day that I worked at Walmart, I was always miserable. But this day, I came to work looking for trouble. I came in purposely with a bad mood, hoping for somebody to piss me off. Because that was the day I was going to quit. I figured, hey, if I'm going to quit today, I'm going to go out with a fucking bang. So these, so one of, the, one of the Spanish employees was like, hey, man, you know, you need to clean up this area here. You need to do this. Trying to boss me around on what to do and what not to do. All right? And it's a co-worker, not a manager. So I looked at him in, the, in, in his face like a fucking idiot with a stupid face. I was like, Yeah? Well, you know what? Fuck you, dude. You do this shit yourself. Took off my blue vest, threw it on the floor, walked the fuck out. Never looked back again. Uh, the only time I ever came back after that was to pick up my check and give a final fuck you to everybody. So, yeah, let's get this started. Yeah, I admit, I was a hothead. I was a hothead back then, and sometimes I am still a hothead. Number one, get this shit started. Minimum wage. You work at a Walmart, you're going to start off minimum wage, making $7.50 an hour. What's the minimum wage now? $7.50, $8 an hour? Not enough in these times. Not enough. You put up with a lot of bullshit at Walmart for minimum wage. It's not worth it. Number two, employees don't care. What do you expect? You're paying your employees shit. They're not going to give a shit. All right? You ever been to a Walmart? These employees, man. I'm, I, I, hey, I'd be scared to ask employees for help. They look like they're about to just black out on you. They they just look so fucking miserable being there. Even though the the the, the females they they're, they're kind of worse. Like, well, what the fuck? The black females are cool because you know how black girls are. They loud. They they hey they they, they, they what's up? You know, but still, they just look miserable. But if I do ask for help at a Walmart, I make sure it, 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 it's at least a black girl. <laughs> All right. Honestly, because I've seen that, they, you know, they I guess they bring that little hood mentality to Walmart. I don't know. I'm not being racist. I'm just saying. All right. They're more colorful. All right. With their words, which is cool. Number three, ghetto uneducated managers. You've seen some of these managers at Walmart. I'd be thinking to myself, how the fuck did you become a fucking manager? You're a fucking idiot. Just a lot of fucking idiot managers that don't know the difference between the number one and the number fucking two. Number four. Walmart exploits cheap international labor. They have workers in Bangladesh making nine cents an hour producing goods for Walmart. <laughs> yeah. You know, I suggest people check out the link on the bottom. I, su I suggest you look at this Walmart documentary I saw. It's called The High Price of Low Costs. It's a little boring at times, but there are some interesting parts, all right? If you want to skip through certain parts, that's cool. That's all right, but I saw it, and wow, what an eye-opener to Walmart, how shady they are. Number five, Walmart encourages their employees to get on welfare. Of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, you're not paying your employees shit. You're paying them fucking minimum wage. You know, employees, they can't make a living off that. Especially employees that have children. Rent to pay, you know, a car bill. They encourage employees to get on welfare, seek assistance. There's no future at Walmart. 
Walmart's just a good entry level job to make some money, gain a little experience until you find something better. Number six, the only thing they carry that isn't made in China is the dirt piling up in the corners. China's their pimp, basically. All right? Look at the Walmart documentary. You, you have Walmart employees, Walmart factory workers in China telling you how it really is. That, 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 that the conditions are poor, the pay is poor. You know, it's crazy. Number seven, they sell old potatoes, rotten produce, and furry strawberries. Yeah, you ever looked at Walmart's grocery section? I've seen some nasty ass, dirty shit in their little food department, in the little grocery uh, aisle. Expired foods, all right? Just rotten produce, like I said, rotten fruits and vegetables. Fucking disgusting. Hey, Walmart supp supports Monsanto and, and GMO products. Fuck them. Number eight. You know, I hate this shit. Store can be full to the brim. And there will only be like three or four cashiers working. I don't know. I never understood that shit. How on a busy Friday, Saturday or Sunday or a holiday... You only have like three registers open. Get the fuck out of here. Number nine. Assistant managers don't know what's going on. <laughs> of course. These assistant managers are motherfuckers that just got hired uh, from McDonald's after flipping a couple french fries and burgers. Number ten. Ten percent employee discounts, which is fucking cheap considering that Walmart is a huge company that makes a shitload of money and you're only going to give your employees 10% employee discount? Really? That's an insult to injury. Make them a minimum wage and you're only going to give them 10% employee discount? Get the fuck out of here. Number 11. The ignorance and lack of logic from managers. There's a lot of lack of logic over there at Walmart. Just a bunch of managers that you think to yourself like... You know, you know that the employees have better ideas and the and managers just won't go with it because their logic is fucking stupid. Number 11, you can get fired for any small mistake. You can get written up. One employee here that told me she got fired because she left a box of cereal. It wasn't open. It was a box of cereal. She left it on the floor temporarily. I guess she was adjusting the, the, the she was uh, adjusting her area trying to fix it up. She left a, a box of cereal on the floor. She got written up. The reason? Because it could create a rodent problem. <laughs> really? It's not like she was going to leave the cereal the cereal there all night. It's not like it was fucking open, you fucking jackass manager. A lot of these managers they have a the, this superiority complex. They, they, a lot of these managers are fucking a uh, nerds, idiots that were picked on in school by bullies, and now they think they can take out their rage on everybody. Get the fuck out of here because of their position. So yeah, you can get fired for any small little thing. Hey, you punching in too early? Right up. You punch it. You going over your hours? Right up. You should have been responsible for your own hours. Hey, you go past one minute in your break time? Right up. Every little a any little thing that can look. To get rid of you. You're expendable. Walmart has a high turnover rate. They can they, they don't mind getting rid of you. Because hey they'll fire you. They can bring in two other jackasses. That need the job real badly. Number 12. Uh, damn I lost counting. I don't know. 11, 10, 11, 12, I don't give a fuck. Number 13, I guess. <laughs> you people counted for me. Number 13, they will cheat your pay to not pay you overtime. Yeah, these motherfuckers are trying to make you work off the clock. If you punch out, hey, wait a minute, uh, J wait, wait, wait a minute, J Jimmy Fuckface. Uh, yeah, um, can you, can you help me out here just 10 minutes? Can you help me out just a, a couple minutes, please? Hey, uh, jerk off a dick his face. You, you, can you wanna, wait, I know you punched up, but you just help me just a little bit here? Get the fuck out of here. Trust me. Walmart doesn't care. And that's illegal, by the way, making you work off the clock. 
All right. If your company's doing that, you tell them that you'll report their asses. You can report their asses to the to to the to the Federal Labor Bureau or whatever it's called. I don't fucking know. Number thirteen. What number was this? Fuck, I'm losing fucking track here, bro. Ah, right, this is number fourteen. I'm sorry. Number fourteen. The stupid blue vest. Fucking hate that stupid blue vest. Number fifteen. Walmart is known to be a racist company. A lot of black employees are ignored or lied to about pending management applications. You look at the Walmart documentary, you see former black employees telling you that, hey, they've been called a nigger. How, how, the, how, the, how the black employees that want to move up to management or, or, or black people that apply for a management position and they have the qualification to be one they're ne they're never chosen you know what i mean so there's some shady shit going on with walmart uh number 16 you can get fired for helping a customer for too long yeah it's a time management issue this employee uh he got written up he could have been fired but he got written up because he spent too much time helping out a customer. Pretty fucking pathetic, really. For doing his job. Number 17. Walmart is fiercely anti-union. They do not want a union. I suggest you're a Walmart employee. You look into a union. You organize. It's, it's your right. You can have a union. A union means better benefits, better pay. Of course, you're going to be paying the union a little monthly, what, $25 every check or whatever. But hey, you're going to be getting better pay and better benefits. I'm serious. Walmart is trying to keep you stupid from that. They're, they're, they're trying to uh, dumb you down. Like they, they just want you, they want to keep you working as drones, as slaves, Walmart. They don't want you to know about unions. I suggest you people spread the information about unions to your fellow Walmart employees. All right. Um, I'm planning on printing out copies of union literature and and putting them going to a Walmart and put and, and putting these sheets of paper everywhere in the fitting room on top of clothes. You know, shake the very foundation of Walmart. Get them trembling in their knees so employees can know their rights. They don't, they don't want you to have a union. Listen, get a union. I right, look into that. You have a right. A union will help you out. They will defend you. And hey, you're going to be making shit a little more money. Uh, number 18. The greeters are fucking stupid. You know the greeter job? They make you stand in front of the store at Walmart. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Walmart. How you doing? Welcome to Walmart. And most of these greeters, man, sometimes they look miserable. They look fucking sad. The reason why I say some of these some of these greeters are stupid, not all of them, but some of them, because sometimes when I'm walking into a Walmart, yes, I'm guilty. I still shop at Walmart sometimes to get me a few things here and there. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not innocent. I'm very guilty of shopping at Walmart sometimes, but thankfully, not as an employee getting a fucking ten percent discount. But yeah, sometimes I'll go to a Walmart. I see the greeter before he or she sees me. And I decide to make this person's already miserable fucking day just a little bit better. By being the first one to say, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? You know, I'd be the first one. And they look at you with a stupid fucking face. You know? So, so some of the girls are the worst. It, it's like, bitch... I'm not flirting with you. I'm being nice. I'm making your miserable fucking day at this miserable fucking job where you probably making only $40 a day a little bit fucking better. You want to make money, you fucking bitch? I'll give you $100 to fucking suck my fucking 8-inch cock. All right? Guarantee you that's more than you'll make at Walmart in three fucking days. Number 19. The Walmart atmosphere is cheap and crass. T 
target's atmosphere exudes progress and style. Here's what I'm talking about. Go to each store and soak it all in next time. You ever been to a Walmart? For all those people that have been to Walmart, all these Walmarts, I've been to many Walmarts and it, every time you walk in there, it feels miserable. You feel the, the, the negativity, the aura of the employees, of everybody. They just feel miserable. You can feel it. You know, you can feel it. We're vibrational beings, so you can feel it. And it's just, wow, it's just you want to get in, you want to get out. But when you go to a Target, for some reason, maybe it's because of the bright red colors, but when you go to Target, it feels a little bit better. You know, it feels more welcoming. Target it, Target just feels like it takes itself more seriously. And I believe they pay their employees a little bit more, you know, a little bit better than Walmart. But it's just a little bit more respect for their, the environment. It just feels more welcoming. Walmart can suck my big fat fucking sausage, all right? And that's all I got to say. Uh, if you work at a Walmart, like I said, I'm... I'm not looking down on you. You got to do what you got to do. What the fuck is wrong with my fucking camera? Yeah, if you work at a Walmart, that's fine. Do what you got to do. But, people, if you have dreams, you have goals, you follow your dreams and your goals. It's sad to see a 60, 70-year-old, a 55-year-old man or, or a woman still working at Walmart, folding clothes in the fitting room, or being a greeter because they gave up on themselves. Most of, these, most of them are people that just gave up on themselves. They gave up on their dreams, their goals. They let fear hold them back. And yeah, that's scary. Think about your future, people. You as a human being, your subconscious mind is powerful. You can be whatever the fuck you want to be. If you want to fucking be a lawyer, hey, you can do it. You want to start your own business? Hey, you can do it. You want to make serious money? You can do it. You want to write a book? You can do it. But you don't have to work as a slave and limit yourself, your capacities, for fucking Walmart. Make them a minimum wage because that's what they want. They just want drones. All they want is slaves. They want to keep you stupid. Wake up, people. Wake up. All right? Maximize your true potential. I suggest everybody look up Bob Proctor on YouTube. Great motivational speaker. Real guy. Real honest. Truthful. Hey, my life has got a whole lot better. You know, financially speaking, I'm doing great. Very good. All right? That's all I got to say. Let me know what you think, people. Walmart fucking sucks. To all people working at Walmart, hang in there. Your time is coming soon. Later.